Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today, we're looking at another Axeman Surplus product. However, this is a product they won't actually sell you. Apparently this thing is so questionable and potentially unsafe that they decided they aren't going to sell this to the public. So instead they gave it to me. Somebody in the comments actually suggested that I do this with one of those inflatable East German buoys that I was playing with. That's right, we have the As Seen on TV, so sketchy that Axeman won't sell it to you, inflatable car jack. Look at that great quality, you can jack up a 90s Mercedes, a 90s Nissan. Apparently using only the power of your own car exhaust. The layout and the graphic design look like this is straight out of the back of a popular mechanics from like the 1970s. Yeah, I don't know if I trust this thing on my car, but let's see if it's all there. Alright, we have the airbag itself. We have the sketchy exhaust connector hose. Protection mat, it's always important to use protection when you're inflating things like this. We have a rather filthy little duffel bag that's covered in spider nests. And a one-year warranty! The box also includes a random bent nail for some reason. Maybe this is to deflate the bag once you're done with it. And these sketchy instructions include such gems as you can remove a car from a ditch or a hole by placing the air jack under the middle of the car and as soon as it is inflated the vehicle will automatically slide forward. Yeah, that doesn't sound dangerous in any way. Supposedly it's powerful enough to lift up half of your car at once so you can change both tires all while your car is sketchily balanced on this thing. Now it claims that no wheel blocking is necessary. Again, this is completely safe and you will no way be killed by this product. All right, we're gonna have to try this thing out. I think I had that backwards. This end actually goes over the tailpipe. And since I have two tailpipes, it says to plug the other one up, but it doesn't really say what to plug it with. I guess that's what the duffel bag's for. Yeah, that looks legit. Not too sure if this one-way valve is any good. All right, I'm pretty sure this is gonna avoid any warranty any vehicle might have, so yeah, let's go for it. Well, it's sort of inflating, although this hose it comes with is incredibly prone to kinking and folding over and getting stuck, so there's not all that much air going in there. We've repositioned the air jack a little bit because my car is a little bit taller than a 90s sedan. Well, it's kind of hard to tell if this is working at all. It's almost impossible to keep that air hose straight. It keeps kind of rolling over and kinking itself off, so it's not a very efficient system. I've been here for like 15 minutes and I probably could have had the car up and changed a tire by now with a regular jack. And the poor car engine is just sounding worse and worse every minute. It's just choking to death on its own exhaust here. All right, I'm gonna call this experiment over. The car sounds terrible, it smells terrible. The whole area just smells like exhaust right now. This rag is getting uncomfortably hot. I'm worried about it just starting a fire back there in the exhaust. The airbag is doing essentially nothing. It's not lifting the car. The bag does seem to hold air, but this hose is such a terrible design that it doesn't let any air in there unless I'm constantly babysitting the thing. Again, it's like 300% easier to just use a normal jack for this. All right, so thanks to the track airbag jack system, uh, instead of a broken down car with a flat tire, now we have a broken down car with a flat tire, a bag full of toxic gas, a fire hazard, and a whole lot of wasted time. Um, I don't know if this company is still in business. I kind of hope not. This was a terrible product idea. I don't know why this ever got made. It doesn't work. It's unsafe. When I did the review of the inflatable buoys, some people said, oh yeah, you can use those as an inflatable airbag. They're great for emergencies when you're off-roading. I think this is going to be the emergency when you're off-roading. If you have to use this when you're out in the middle of nowhere, yeah, you're better off just leaving the car and walking home. Um, now again, this isn't a negative against Axeman or anything. They knew this was a terrible product and that's why they gave it to me instead of just throwing it in the dumpster. They thought I'd at least get a laugh out of it and yeah, I got a laugh. Yeah, again, why? It's the same size as a regular jack. It works worse than a regular jack. It causes way more safety issues than a regular jack. It probably damages your car engine. Yeah, I just, I can't comprehend the logic behind inventing this product. Big thanks to Axeman for thinking of me when they come across something stupid and dangerous. 
I don't know what gave them that impression about my channel, but um, yeah, this was fun for about five minutes, and now it's going to go in the dumpster. If you want to buy products that are less dangerous and way cooler than this thing, head on down to Axeman Surplus at one of their three locations in the Twin Cities metro area. Uh, the main one is on University Avenue. They've also got one in Fridley and one in St. Louis Park, and they're just a really cool surplus store full of all kinds of great stuff. And hey, it's pretty cool that they're wise enough to take a look at something like this and say, yeah, there's no way we're going to sell that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more weird and wacky Axeman things and whatever else we come up with on the channel. We'll see you next time.